What's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duels, and we're going to be doing a Shinobird deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an extremely fun ritual deck that actually focuses around spirit monsters, which is super cool. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Again, your name is Chris Shrink, single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your patron. So without further ado... Let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to start off with our copies of Shino Baron Peacock. This card is our main boss monster that we're summoning all the time in this deck that has a really cool ability. If this card is Ritual Summon, you can return up to three monsters that your opponent controls back to the hand, which is such a crazy ability. Then you can special summon a level four or lower spirit monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions, which is a really cool effect, especially when you can summon out something like a copy of a Mono Iwato with this card ability. It also has the ability once per turn during the end phase. If this card was special summon this turn, return it back to the hand and if you do, you get to special summon out two copies of Shinobur tokens to your side of the field that are Wing Beast type Wind, level 4, 1500 attack, and 1500 defense, which is a really cool effect. We then play a single copy of Shino Baroness. Shino Baroness is really good as a one of in the build, and this card helps out a lot in the deck, because if this card is Ritual Summon, you can shuffle up to three spells and traps that your opponent controls back into the deck, which is a crazy powerful effect. Then, you can special summon a level four lower spirit monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, which is a crazy powerful effect to be able to summon out any ritual monster, or basically any spirit monster you want directly from your deck, like a copy of a Mono Iwato. It also has a really cool effect that once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summon this turn, you return it back to the hand, and if you do, special summon out two Shinobur tokens, just like your copy of your Shino Baron, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Shino Baron Shade. Shino Baron Shade is great as a one of in the build, but I feel like you really only need a single copy of this card. It has a really cool effect that this card has becomes a copy of Shino Baron Peacock while in the hand or on the field. You can also tribute this ritual summon card to add a spirit monster and a ritual spell from your deck to your hand, which is a crazy good effect for this card to have. I love that about this card. It helps out so much for the consistency of the build. It also has the ability once per turn. During this time of phase of the next turn after this card was banished, you get to special summon this banished card, which is a really neat ability. We then play two copies of the Shino Baroness Shade. Shino Baroness Shade is also a really good card in this build, but again, I feel like two copies is really all you need in this build because it has a really cool ability that this card becomes Shino Baroness Peacock while on the hand or on the field. And if this card is Ritual Summoned, you get to add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand that mentions spirit monsters in its text, which is a crazy powerful effect for this card to have to be able to search out a bunch of really powerful cards. We then play three copies of Aratama. Aratama is really good in this deck as a three of, because this card is the ability, if this card is normal summoned or flip face up this turn, return it back to the hand. And when this card is normal summoned or flip face up, you can add a spirit monster from your deck to your hand, basically searching out basically any card in the deck, which is amazing. Like Sakitama are copies of our ritual monsters. It can even search out a Mono Iwato, which is just so cool to be able to do. This card is basically the Stratos of the deck and definitely a three of. We then play two copies of Sakitama. Sakitama is great as a two of in the build. This card helps out a lot because it does give you an additional normal summon of a spirit monster, which is a pretty cool effect. We then play two copies of a Mono Iwato. A Mono Iwato is just insane. This card is a good two of in the build. You could play just one, but I really like having that backup copy just in case we need it. This card is a really insane ability that it cannot be special summoned and monsters cannot activate their effects except spirit monsters, which is a crazy powerful effect for this card to have. I love that about this card. And it basically just turns off every opponent's monster and basically lets us play because we play Shino Birds, which are actually spirit monsters. Monsters. We then play Conductor of the Neptus. This card is really good, and the Neptus engine in this deck is just insane, and I love it in this build. This card is a really cool ability that if this card is Ritual Summon, you can special summon a Nefetis Ritual Monster from your hand or deck, except another copy of this card, which is a really cool ability, and it does count as a Ritual Summon, which is such a cool effect for this card to have, which we're always going to be summoning our copy of Devotee. Devotee is great in this deck to be able to summon. 
Because if this card is Ritual Summon, you can activate this effect to special summon a Neftis monster from your deck. Also, during the end phase of this turn, destroy this card. But it's a really cool ability just to be able to get both of these out on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Disciple. Disciple is really good as a one of in the build because this card is the ability during your main phase. You can destroy one card in your hand. And if you do, add a Neftis monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card, which is a really cool ability. We then play a single copy of Matriarch. Matriarch is also great in the deck. And this is pretty much the engine for the Nefertis cards. I really like this card in the deck as well because it has the ability to target a level four lower Neftis monster in the graveyard, except another copy of this card. Destroy one card in your hand. And if you do, special summon the target a monster in defense position, but negate its effects, which is just a great effect. We then play a single copy of Chalice Slime. Chalice Slime is great because it helps us summon out any of our incantations that we need to our side of the field, which is just really helpful in the deck. We then play a single copy of Candle. Candle is great because you basically reveal a ritual spell in your hand, especially summon both this card from your hand and an incantation monster from the deck. And if this card is special summoned from the deck, you get to add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand. We then play a single copy of Talismandra that does the exact same thing as Candle, except this card actually lets us add a ritual monster with special summon from the deck, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Bookstone. Bookstone's really good as a one of as well. That if this card is special summoned from the deck, you get to target a ritual spell in the graveyard and add it to your hand. And then we play three copies of Pencil Plume. I know this looks a little bit weird, but I really like the three copies of Pencil Plume in the build. Is this card lets us recover one of our ritual monsters from the graveyard, which is great to be able to do, especially in this build. This card is really good as a three of in the deck. Plus, we can get to anything that we need with our copy of Chalice Slime. So this card is just really good as a three of. To help us recover some of our Shino Bird ritual monsters back out of the grave. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is really good as a one of in the build, just to basically stop our opponent from hand trapping us while we're going in for all of our plays. We're going to play a single copy of Rebirth of Neftis. This card is really good to help us ritual summon out our Neftis monsters, and this card is just insane in the build as a one of. We then play a single copy of Incantation Inception. Incantation Inception is just an additional ritual spell that we play in the build to help us go in for plays. So this card is really good as a one of in the deck. We then play three copies of Shino Bird's Calling. Shino Bird's Calling is great in this deck. This card is so helpful and helps us ritual summon out our Shino Bird monsters. This card is a really useful ability that basically has the effect that this card can be used to ritual summon a copy of the Shino Bear's Peacock or Shino Baron Peacock. And you must also tribute monsters from your hand field and or banish spirit monsters from your graveyard whose total level equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster that you're trying to ritual summon which is an insane effect we then play three copies of stars align above the shrine this card is a great field spell it helps out so much in the build because as the ability once per turn you can ritual summon a wind ritual monster from your deck by tributing spirit monsters and or shinobur tokens from your field whose total levels equal or exceed the ritual monsters level twice per turn which is a crazy powerful effect this card is so helpful for the build it's just such a powerful field spell and if a face-up wind monster you control is returned back to your hand except during the damn step you can activate one of these two effects to be able to add to your hand or add one of your spirit monsters or a ritual spell that's banished or in your graveyard back to your hand, or set a copy of the Stars Align above um, the Milky Way directly from your deck, which is a crazy powerful um, trap that you can basically set to your side of the field with this card's ability. I love that effect that you can just instantly set this card to your side of the field with your, your field spell. We then play three copies of a Preparation of Rites. Preparation of Rites just belongs in just about any ritual deck, and this card is really good. It lets you add a level seven or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand then you get to add a ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand you don't have to add the ritual spell from the graveyard you can just basically use this card like rota which is really nice we then play three copies of pre-prep pre-prep is just insane to be able to do in this deck because this card searches so many different cards and it's just really good in the deck overall so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're just going to be playing one, and that's going to be a single copy of Stars Align across the Milky 
way. This card is a beautiful card and a really good one of in the build. Let you reveal a ritual monster in your hand to add a ritual monster with the same level but a different name from your deck to your hand. You can also banish this card from the graveyard to send a ritual spell from your hand to the graveyard and this effect becomes that card's effect that ritual summons a monster when the card was activated which is a really cool effect to be able to basically copy them and it's a really awesome one of in the build that you can get to with your field spell which is just really nice. So that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Neptus, the Sacred Preserver. This card is great as a one of in the build. Is this card is the ability that you can only use the following effects this card once per turn during your main phase. If this card is Link Summon, you can activate one of these effects to add a level 8 winged beast monster from your deck to your hand then add one ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand which is a really powerful effect for this card to have especially since our copy of the shino baron is actually level eight so this card can actually search some really cool cards in the deck and it's great to be able to use in this build which is why we play the Neptus package in this deck we can play a single copy of access code because it can get absolutely massive and it's a really awesome boss monster to be able to make in the deck plus it can pop multiple cards on the field one copy of appaloosa appaloosa is just really easy to make in this build and it's a really good card overall we can play a single copy of unicorn unicorn can spin stuff which is really nice one copy of dynamondo dynamondo is just insane in just about any ritual deck and it's just a great card overall play a single copy of sp little knight if you don't have sp little knight you can change it out for a copy of nightmare phoenix which is another option for you guys if you want to change it out or even great fly you can change it out for great fly which is another option because you do play a lot of wind monsters in the deck so that's a really good option to be able to use in this build to be able to get rid of the tokens on your side of the field you don't have to play sp little knight but if you have it play it if you don't play like a great fly or nightmare phoenix over it we then play a single copy of ip mascarena mascarena is really good because you can go in for sp little knight unicorn or appaloosa during the opponent's turn which is just really really nice one copy of cross sheep because we do ritual summon in this deck so we get to draw two and then discard two which is really nice to help us dig into the deck play a single copy of link spider because we generate tokens which is really cool one copy of baguska baguska is insane just in case we need to slow down the game we play a single copy of number 97 because this card helps us make either number 38 which is a spell uh gate or a copy of number 100 which comes out as a 9,000 attack boy monster we can play a single copy of double a zeus to board wipe the field and finally a single copy of typhon because you can basically make this card in just about any deck which is insane so that's gonna do for this one guys i hope you enjoy this shino bird deck profile if you guys have never played shino birds before you should definitely give this deck a try it's really fun to be able to play especially with the neftis cards in the deck it just is super helpful and it really helps out this deck to be able to just make those neftis cards and just go in for game especially being able to search cards off the copy of the sacred preserver is just really cool so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come for our notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys